Maartje van den Noord is a Dutch painter, illustrator and textile designer. A woman and mother who runs a multidisciplinary successful art business. She collaborates with multiple sustainable brands and creates the most delicious photographs of her artwork on Instagram. Maartje is a master in bringing grasses and wildflowers onto her canvas in all their glorious detailed shapes. She does that in such a delicate and minimalistic way that it sometimes seems as if the plant itself has left a trace within the paint. I'm in love with her work, the earthy color palette she uses, as well as the lovely raw edges of her paintings. Maartje is a huge inspiration to me and I feel very honored and grateful that I'll get to meet her today in her gorgeous studio space in Amersfoort. As Marcia and I sat down for a chat, we dived right into an artist's problem. The struggle with concept and story behind your work. By then it was really all about concept. So um, if there was no concept behind what you were doing, then yeah, wh why are you doing it? <laughs> Some of my fellow uh, students were really, yeah, they really had a clear view of what they wanted to tell and they, or they really developed a, a good story in their in the four years of their study, but for me it was really difficult. So I had a big struggle in that because I didn't, I just, with all the things I could come up with, I thought, what bullshit is that? <laughs> so but then, I, yeah, I just couldn't uh, really take it serious, um, all the things I uh, thought about. And yeah, you I was try to make up stories yeah. behind your paintings after you painted them? Yeah, or right. after a drawing, or yeah. and then also I also combined a lot of um, techniques like uh, sewing and uh, drawing. I just tried everything. Yeah. Um, so do you do you think that you have your story now with the with the flowers, with the flowers and grasses? I'm just I'm not sure. It's, I'm still not sure. I do have more clues now. <laughs> I think. But it's, it's still also a lot about uh, just uh, doing and, and, and making. And, um, but what, what do you think is it that makes you paint those flowers and grasses over and over again? Yeah, that's a good question. I do think that it's because they, they are so fragile, but also strong and also wild. And they don't ask anything of us, you know? So, there's nothing needed from me <laughs> for them to grow and to bloom and to uh, to flourish. So I really f that's, that really um, eases me because I, I can just look at them and well I don't have to interact with them. <laughs> they don't uh, they, they don't think anything of me. really paint exactly what you see or do you also um, paint a flower on the canvas which actually isn't in the vase? Uh, no, in the, um, it's a mix. So I always start with drawing what I see and then I always find out that, it, that it's not working because I'm not... because when I start drawing this, this branch it always becomes a little bit different in the canvas and then uh, it's just you have to be a different kind of painter to do the photographic kind of paint. What do you love most about painting? I really like the coincidence that is happening. So you start this painting and you have a little bit of an idea but 
most of the time it becomes something completely different. Mm -hmm. And I really like it that it's... Um, the surprise effect. Yeah, the surprise effect and the, and the intu intuitive yeah, process. Yeah, for me that's really, uh, really interesting. And also finding the, the right combination of colors and... Uh, yeah, the just, problem solving aspect. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that, yeah. Very, um, oh man, what's the English word for her, can I? Uh, re recognizable? <laughs> yeah, very, very yeah. recognizable for me as well. Yeah. The surprise effect, um, well, I, I work very, very fluid. Yeah, in your work, it's really important too. I really try to let go of uh, control in my work. Yeah. Because um, in, in, in normal life, <laughs> in the rest parts of my life, I'm pretty much a control freak. Yeah. And it's it's so nice to um, have yeah painting as a part to help me let go of yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like this fluid way of painting. And um, also, indeed, the, the surprise effect. The, the fact that you cannot completely envision how no. it's going to look results. at the end. No. no. I often just start with the stems uh, because for me it gives like a, a bit of a grid from then I can do the all the rest. And this is a very lovable uh, plant to draw mm. because it has... What is it actually? Um, I think it's uh, Angelica, Angelica, uh, Engelwortel in Dutch. Ah. This fall I got it from the, the, the um, sides of the road. Yeah, I see it on the road. Yeah, there side. were a lot yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. This year, I don't know, maybe they had a good year or something. So there was. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't feel guilty uh, picking yeah. it up either. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Hmm? Now I already think I made a mistake. <laughs> no, there are no mistakes. <laughs> No, it's just. I think I should have. I should have drawn the stem from the from from, ah. from the big stem to the outer and not from the top. Down. Oh, oh, it's right. I do it either way. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, I'm also still thinking about uh, what will be a next step, and sometimes I want to do something else, just more still life, or because I also admire other artists. For instance, Paul Citroen. I saw an exhibition of him and uh, of his. He doesn't live anymore, um, but he, he, he just painted whatever he saw. So it, will, it could be a person, but it could also be a still life or a, a, a face with flowers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I really like it when painters do that and when they have this freedom of subject and just... Mm -hmm. To me, that is uh, really, uh, um, it's really honest because they're not pretending to say anything with it. It's just to the pure love for painting. Yeah, right? exactly. And, and, and their way of translating uh, the world around them. For, mm. Yeah. The thing with the drawing and painting is, and you, I think you know that as well, is that, yeah. It's not about making a perfect drawing or um, or anything because it's it's a bit of it's a bit more about the soul that you put into it and the attention that you have while drawing and yeah and also you asked if I was um, painting exactly what I see and then I said no not all the time but the 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 main thing is that I have to switch between um, trying to copy the thing I see and to let, it, to let go of that image again because I'm actually just making a painting and it's an artist impression to use the word again. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, um, so sometimes I'm, when I, I see myself uh, painting and trying to copy it just exactly the way it is and then uh, I have to tell myself okay relax now <laughs> take a step back uh, because uh, it will never be exactly the way exactly that plant uh, and it's it's not even interesting if it's In the, no if it's and completely it's totally uh, okay if yeah it's yeah yeah it's actually more interesting when it's just a freestyle uh, Thing. Yeah. 
it's funny, right? That there's um, that there's always this voice that says it has to be the uh, like almost photographic, but I, the most interesting art is not is not the most photographic no. or picture perfect uh, art. It's more. Uh, the art there, in which you feel that the painter has have has had a lot of fun while painting it or mm -hmm. drawing it or mm -hmm. maybe sculpting it or yeah um, that that's so much more interesting than uh, there's a piece of the painter's soul within that artwork yeah right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that we are making drawing the same. Uh, plant and that it's becoming two different images mm -hmm. by being in another body and looking through different eyes yeah. it's it's a, it's a different interpretation yeah. of the same thing yeah and that's what makes it really interesting to do through everyone's hand it, it turns out differently yeah and a beautiful and that's the beauty of art thing yeah yeah yes <laughs> Thanks so much yeah. for having me. Thank you for it being was here. So lovely to meet you in real life. I hope to see you again soon. Me too. Yeah. It was a lovely thing to have you. We have a lot of things in common, and it's uh, always great to meet another artist and to share their experiences. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye.